So today I'm going to be installing the Recon Super Duty cab roof lights for my 2020 F250 diesel uh, with the tremor package. I got the Recon lights with uh, the clear lens and the amber light and the model is the 264342CL. These are the ones for the trucks that did not come with any factory cab lights at all. So we're going to be drilling holes in my brand new $100,000 truck today. I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Um, the recon lights were my choice because they came with a great harness. The plugs are all well put together and it comes with all of the hardware and the clips that you're going to need to be able to tap it right into the factory harness which is located in the passenger side A post. So first thing we need to do is drop that roof liner inside the truck and uh, then we're going to tape up the outside and start marking where these lights need to go. So first things I'll do is start disassembling the inside. So there's a few steps to getting this roof liner off. Most of these pieces just snap and pop off like that. And so far, everything I've found is a seven mil. Got a bit of a hook on the back of it, just to hold it in, and be gentle and careful about that plug. On the door post here, there's a cap, top and bottom on the handle, and that's the 8 mil. Nope, 
one and the other side and then we head outside and we tape up the roof. I found this install guide on the uh, Go Recon website. I'm going to be using this. I'll be taping or marking that out on the tape I just installed on the roof. I made a template here using one of the lights and a little bit of cardboard just to mark my holes. I'll cut that out. I'm going to mark everything up and I'll be back. So the challenge with these lights is if you have a sunroof, nice to climb through to install it, but the template sheet they provide has the lights mounted too far back. And there's, a, there's an aluminum bar right across the front of the sunroof, and if you put them where they recommend, which is back here, I'll show this closer later, uh, the light would mount right there which puts this only about an inch away from the sunroof and puts your back screw and probably the wire itself right through the bar in the front. So I've uh, checked a bunch of different sites on this and everybody basically recommends just moving them forward. There's no specific measurement that I've seen, um, but the issue you're going to run into is the curve of the, the uh, roof. You've got a, a flat bottom surface on your light and a curved roof. Um, I'm going to use some black RTV and I will just coat the gasket surface so that when I put it down it should get a better seal. I'm a little less concerned with rust, it's aluminum so that won't matter as much but uh, I'm going to space the center one. I started by finding my center line and I'll do the, the center one here first and I think if I go six inches back from the uh, from the windshield to the front of the light, instead of seven and three eighths inches, I give myself enough space. I'm going to just mark that and check it, and then I'm going to keep going and do the rest of them. The template says to go seven inches from the edge of the light to the edge of the next light. <laughs> the lights aren't exactly rectangular, so I've used the front of it to measure with, added the width of half the light, and I'm getting seven and seven eighths. And I'm just gonna do a very rough dry fit here. And take a look at it. If I can get these wires to behave. So I'm marking an inch from the edge of the sunroof. All the lights I've seen have the, the side ones tucked in to the corner here. I want to make sure I'm far enough away from the corner so that I don't cause any issues there. And then 
along that line. Just for comparison's sake. I'm marking five inches, six inches, seven inches, eight inches back, and one inch from that side to that side. So I'm using the screw holes as my line marker at eight inches. I'm way back here. I'm basically touching the side of the sunroof way too far back. Seven inches, same deal. I have uh, three eighths of an inch before I'm at the edge here. I don't like that. Using the same six inches that I'm using on the center ones here, I have three quarters of an inch. More than that, a little bit more, it's seven eighths of an inch between the corner of the light and the corner of the sunroof. I think that will be okay. I'm going to check underneath and make sure it's not interfering with that bar. Um, but, and then to see five inches, you're going up here, which is also okay. It's still farther back than uh, the center ones. There's a, a ridge here from one of the roof rails, and it does not interfere with that. And in both the five and six inch positions, the curvature is not that big of a deal. It's obviously better on the six. It's flatter, uh, but it's not bad on the five. So I'm going to go underneath now, check to see where that bar is, make sure it doesn't interfere, make some final decisions, and then uh, mark out my templates and get to the scary part of drilling holes in my brand new There's only one place you're going to need to drill a hole. The screws that come with the recon kit are self-tapping. Uh, they are steel, which on the Ford roof, which is aluminum, is not the best. But as long as it's well sealed, and you can keep the water out. That'll be less of an issue. Um, I don't have a rivet gun right now, so I may put these in for now and swap it out with aluminum rivets down the road. We'll see. But you do need to drill a hole for the uh, plug to go through. Now you can either drill a hole that size, and that would be, and they don't, uh, they don't actually tell you what size it is, but taking a guess at it, this is a 3 8 bit, and I'm pretty confident that the 3 8 bit would be enough to get that through. Um, just looking at it there but if you want to be a little bit more picky and you're not inclined to uh, to put a hole that size in you can use one of these tools this is just a, uh, a trim kit which you can get on Amazon I'll put a link in and if you put your trim tool down in where those pins are I'll just put it in and show you, then you can actually pop the plug off. Just make sure you know which side they came out of and which way they were in. So your trim tool, you place it in right down the sides of the pins. This one is a two-pronged trim tool. And just slide it down beside the pins and they will pop right out. As long as you know which way they went in, I see that the plug, the clip is on this side. Tells me that my red wire has to go in on the right hand side when the clip is facing up. So easy enough to remember that. And now you can drill a much smaller hole. You're still going to want to make sure that you protect the edges of the hole because you're now going to have wire rubbing on that. So. I'll probably loom or tape the wires a little bit to protect them and use a little bit of RTV on the, holes, uh, on the hole in the truck as well, 
just to make sure that it's well protected. So now we're going to get down to some drilling some holes. So for rough positioning, they look pretty good. Um, the three in the center are clustered and the two outside ones farther out. So now I'm going to just check and make sure that there's nothing underneath they're going to run into and then I will draw everything up on the templates and show that. So here's the part where I got to put a hole. Wish me luck. thing I need to say too many times be careful I went really slow and I used a 3 16 bit instead of a 3 8 and that should be my hole now taking my trim tool here and popping these connections back out again let's just test this the fit is good plenty of room there wanted to leave some extra room for our TV And the positioning is perfect. Drops right into that hole I mentioned earlier below. So now I'm just going to clean up the tape, mark it for the drill spots, and uh, then get the rest of them done.
so far these are going on well outside you can see the three holes and that one next and last and that one already done so I'm down to the last one here I was a little generous on the RTV on this one, but uh, we're just about to put it in there and then you'll be able to have all of them in. You can see from inside here now how each of the pigtails is hanging down, oh, except for that one. So what we're going to do now is connect each of them and then run the wire down to the passenger side A post where we can connect them. Now you can see they're each connected and the end of the lead runs out and it's just hanging down there. It connects to that plug over in the A post there and uh, we'll get to that part next. First I'm going to hook them up and see if they light up. When you get down here in the A-post, you'll see this big piece of white foam um, batting. And way down in here is this clip. And it actually, sorry, it actually clips on here. It's hard to see, but it is down here, right there. They don't give you a lot of room to work with. Let me get that out of there so you can see it. Um, but what they do do, so you can unplug it, and my truck at least came with this side of the plug installed in the clip. No wires, but I did find there are four holes, two pins, pin one and pin three. Pin one being the one to the left towards the outside of the plug. That is your hot wire. So what I did was take my two wires here from my lights, assumed red was hot, and stripped them just a little bit farther and then inserted them into the plug and plugged it in and it worked so let's do that now i pushed the wires through far enough that they're almost sticking out of the plug and made sure they were off to one side so that the blades on the other side have a place to slide in put them in like that you'll see there are two guides And click and there you go and now if we turn our lights on you'll see we're lit up so I want to make sure that the wires inside that clip are in solid enough but you can see them down there do make sure that when you're running your wires, you don't let it interfere anywhere with the airbag. And when you get back up into here, we're going to tie those wires up to make it a little bit tidier, and we're going to put it all back together. Alright, so the truck is back together. Nothing's broken, everything seems to work, and... There's the lights. Nice and bright. And that's on a 20 F250 with the diesel and the tremor package.
Thanks very much.